Hey guys, Andy here, and today I want to go over a whole bunch of updates, uh, not only for my channel, but also in my own personal life. Uh, before we get into that though, I want to get these glasses off because they're so reflecty, so we're just gonna put those down there. So before we get into the whole updates and stuff like that, I just want to come out to you guys and apologize for the lack of videos on this channel for the past like two to three weeks. Um, we'll be getting more into the reason why behind that uh, a little bit later in the video, but I just want to come out front and tell you guys that I'm sorry for the lack of content on this channel for a while. So some of the more important updates include uh, some equipment changes, setup changes, things like that. So as you guys may have already seen, I've moved the desk around a little bit. I've been experimenting with different positions for recording and stuff like that. One of them included having the desk against that wall over there. I didn't really like the background of that, so I decided to just move it basically where the desk used to be, basically switch the desk with uh, with my bed back there. I like the setup. Um, I also have my second desk in front of this desk so I can put other stuff on it as well, including my little um, acoustic shield. So hopefully that'll help get rid of a lot of these weird reflections, but I still gotta get uh, side panels and stuff for the walls and stuff over there to really nail it down But hopefully it helps at least uh, at least a little bit in addition to that I've also got a new microphone, so I don't know if you guys might have noticed that <laughs> Which is just me talking in the video uh, But I got a new mic and it's the sure PGA 27 which for uh, for fans of Markiplier It's the same mic that he uses I don't have that deep uh, radio voice like he does, so it, it might, might sound a little different. But uh, I got it hooked up to an old mixer that I got back when I was uh, out at Fleet ASW in San Diego many moons ago. And uh, it was from one of my friends who his roommate was transferring to, I believe, Norfolk at the time. He just had he just left the, uh, the mixer and he was gonna leave to go somewhere else soon too. So he, he saw that I did YouTube videos and he just wanted to give me the mixer. He just said, all, all you need is the power supply. And I was like, all right, cool. And I found out that it was a proprietary power supply, which at the time was kind of hard to come by. And I was like, eh, you know, I already got my own setup, eh, whatever. So I pretty much just left it in the closet for like five, six years and didn't really do anything with it. This past month or so, I've been busy uh, doing a lot of cleaning of my apartment, reorganizing and everything. Eventually dug out the mixer and I was looking at it and I was like, hmm, you know, I really want to do something with that thing. Uh, so I looked up on Amazon to see what kind of power supply it uses, how much it costs, things like that. And I found one for like 10 bucks. And I decided, you know what? I'm also going to get a pretty good mic with that too. Um, I was looking at a lot of beginner uh, condenser mics like the Audio Technica AT2020, which is a good mic. Uh, a lot of YouTubers use that in addition to a couple other mics. But the one I wanted to get was the Shure PGA27. And I was looking and it was just way too expensive new. And I was trying to find some used copies and they were only like maybe 10, 20 bucks tops off. But I eventually found a, uh, a very cheap used one. The reason it was so cheap was because it was all scuffed up and stuff, but that's just cosmetic. It's just nothing to do with the uh, the sound, at least I hope. <laughs> but uh, I found one very cheap off of eBay, and then I went and bought an XLR cable cable from Guitar Center for like 69 cents or something like that, because I ended up using a bunch of Guitar Center gift cards that they would always send me in the email and stuff like that. I uh, got a little, one of those little desk scissor mic boom arm thingies. I think it's a pretty sound investment, especially if I get it like a new mixer or learn how to use my current mixer because a lot of the stuff's pretty new to me and I'm just getting used to uh, dealing with analog stuff. So if it doesn't sound right in this video, I apologize. I'm gonna keep on working on it so hopefully we can get a good, nice balance going. But in any event, that's gear updates. So now we're gonna move on to channel updates. So this is probably the biggest of the YouTube news that I have to share for you guys. As you guys know, I've been working on a couple separate side channels, and the reason behind this is because I know that a lot of y'all come to my The Andy San channel because you found one of my videos and decided to subscribe, and I definitely wanna thank you guys for doing that. But a lot of people subscribe because of different types of content that I have on my channels. So say somebody subscribes just for my Navy stuff, but if I end up putting out vlogs or 
you know, editing videos or something random, like fidget spinner videos, um, then they feel kind of confused and they're wondering like, what the heck's old Andy Sand Samadeshta doing unboxing a fidget spinner? This isn't what I subscribed for. Delete. In an effort to give you guys the type of content that you want and to just make it very specific, very niche, um, I've decided to splinter off some of my more popular types of content that are on this channel onto their own separate channels. The idea being that this channel, the Andy San, is gonna be focused more on my own personal life as well as some random miscellaneous videos that I wanna put out there that aren't quite in the same category as my other channels. Now, the first channel that I did was the Andy Talks Navy channel. And for those who don't know, um, Andy Talks Navy was formerly my NFAX channel. Um, decided to uh, rebrand, retool it to uh, put up all of my Navy content onto that channel. So if you guys are subscribed to this channel just for the Navy content, I'm not gonna be doing it on this channel anymore. I'm gonna be doing it on my Andy Talks Navy channel. And I'll have links and stuff to all the channels down below in the description as well as in the comments. So be sure to subscribe to that channel for all your Navy needs. And uh, in addition to Andy Talks Navy, just this week actually, I've worked on another new channel, which is called Andy Edit. And it's gonna be focused on my editing tutorial videos. So if you came here for my editing stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe to that channel called Andy Edit. Now that we've covered all the youtube -y stuff, let's get into some personal life stuff. I've been going through uh, a really, really bad uh, bit of depression for the past couple months now. And usually, like I have these weird cycles of depression that usually, uh, usually they start in like early fall and then they end around springish. And then during the summer, I'm usually either normal or like just really happy in order to combat it, especially during the winter months. It's because of the changing light schedule. So, you know, during the winter months, there's not a whole lot of sunlight. You get a lot less vitamin D and stuff like that. So they kind of feel that the depression is more of a symptom of a vitamin D deficiency. So what I've been doing is taking vitamin D supplements. And you know, it's it helped for a little bit. One of the weird things is, like I said, during the summer months, usually I'm totally fine. This particular summer, for whatever reason, it, that didn't really happen. Um, I never really got off of the depression cycle. You know, there'd be times where I wouldn't even leave the house apartment, I guess in this case. You know, I'd get like very agoraphobic I would stay in most of the time, either go out shopping at night when there wasn't a whole lot of people around. You know, I'd go and order stuff and have them deliver it here, or just get in my car, go through a drive-through because I didn't want to go inside a restaurant or go inside a grocery store and pick stuff up. That's one of the reasons why I haven't been doing YouTube videos. You know, just thinking like, with every day that passes, you know, I feel like I have to make this you know, next video like the best it can possibly be because oh my god, these guys have been waiting like two, three weeks. I gotta come up with something good, right? But yeah, I'm um, going through this whole depression, anxiety um, cycle has been really rough on me. It's one of the reasons why I took some time off of school. Um, I decided to take the summer two semester off from school because I'd managed to save up some money, uh, especially moving out here has been just a godsend for saving up money and not spending a whole lot. And obviously not going outside, it really helps with uh, with saving money, you know, and gas and buying some things. I managed to save up enough money to just kind of take a break from school anyway. I mean, I'm still working at my normal job, but uh, I'm just not in school right now. And I wanted to take a break because I, I noticed that in addition to the depression and stuff like that, you know, I was falling into bad habits when it comes to doing schoolwork, or in my case, not doing schoolwork. So I wanted to give myself a break, get myself, get my situation taken care of. Uh, I am gonna be starting up school um, at the end of this month, beginning of next month in September. So I'll be starting in the fall, and I just wanted to take a couple weeks off to get my shit together, take some time away from school so my brain's a little less frazzled and then I can come back to it in the fall with a fresh perspective and you know kick ass like like I know I can. 
As far as, you know, what my plans are a bit more long term with school, I don't really know just yet. You know, there are a couple possibilities. Uh, one of them being that I complete my associates here and then transfer to another school where I can complete my bachelor's, which I think to me sounds the most enticing. You know, <laughs> I definitely do want to move back to Japan. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about doing is um, once I get that associates here in Kalamazoo is seeing uh, if I could transfer out to Temple University out in Japan and then just get my communications degree. It would just depend on how much, how many credits they take, um, how long it would take to get my bachelor's degree out there. You know, with an associates, it probably wouldn't really take all that long. And uh, if it does extend a little beyond the GI Bill, I can apply for uh, vocational rehab, I think. Uh, there's a couple other conditions involved with that, so it's not just a simple, well, I ran out of GI Bill stuff, uh, help. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a couple more things involved with that, but it does give me at least an extra year of schooling should something happen. And plus, you know, there's always scholarships and things like that, so that's just another possibility and something I'm really looking into, but uh, one thing at a time. So definitely want to get the degree first and then transfer to another university, whether that's Temple or someplace a bit closer to home in Ohio so I don't get taxed as hard come tax season living out in Michigan. So with that said, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Oh,